Hello everyone, hope you are all doing great. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to see how to adjust a futures position that is in loss. Okay. This is only one of the scenario. There could be other scenarios where you might have to encounter when you actually trade futures. Okay. Based on this current scenario, we will see what are the types of adjustments that I can do to get out at a minimal loss or a minimal profit. If you are new to this channel, this is Manoj and you are watching Trend Following with Manoj. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share with your friends that will help the channel to grow faster. Now let's get started. Two important things you need to keep in mind when adjustment comes into picture. One, an adjustment is not a constant strategy. You might have to do different type of adjustment strategies based on the underlying security that you are trading and as well as the underlying market conditions also. Number two, when you hear the word adjustments, it requires a lot of margin money to do some adjustment trades because you have already have a original position. You are trying to do some adjustment trade to defend the original position's loss, right? So it requires additional capital. Now, this was my original position which I was having since the last 10 days, okay? This position was a adjustment position that I have put in to capture some amount of money to mitigate the losses that I had. Adjustments can be made by two types. One, you have to know the chart, okay? If you know the chart, you will see where the support and resistance is. Once the security hits the support, you will buy. Once the security hits the resistance, you can short a future. In futures, you can do a short. Number two, if you don't know the charting uh, patterns, you can just do some max based on your loss, open loss, and then you can sell positions or buy positions based on the amount of open loss that you already have, okay? Since I know chart, since I'm like good at chart, what I did, I was trying to scalp a quick five to eight points in the next month expiry. So that was this trade, okay? So I bought at 28, 38, 2000 quantity, 10 lots, April month futures, and then I sold at eight point gain for 16,000. So this 77,000 is apparently now 66,000, which I need to manage doing further adjustments, all right? This, this sell I made at the end of the day, I'll tell you the reason why. Okay, so if you see, I have sold around 325, four lots, one lot size is 200 for Asian paints, and then two lots, four plus two, six, and then three lots, six plus three, nine, nine plus two lots, total 11 lots, 2,200 quantity, I have sold April month futures, okay? That gave me 16,000. The reason why I closed these positions at the end of the day is because sometimes at the end of the day after 315, 320, there will be a sharp short covering. If there is a sharp short covering after 315, there is a very high possibility that the market will go up the very next day. So I don't want to um, exit penultimately. I was just waiting for the complete confirmation. Then at 315, nothing happened. So I had to sell the April month futures. The other important reason why I closed April futures is because I already have 10 lots of March I don't want to keep another 11 lots of April. That will give a big exposure without any downside protection. Let's suppose if Asian paints for some reason gaps down 2%, I will be sitting at a loss of 3 to 5 lakhs. That I will not be able to manage. Adjustments you can only do until the losses is within your hands. If it goes out of hand, then there is no point in making adjustments. You need to take the losses, go to the next trade. Since this has been sold, there is 11 lakh of cash that has been released, which I can use to do some adjustments, okay? Now let's get into the chart of Asian Paints. This is going to be the adjustment number one, okay? So this is the Asian Paints daily chart. Let us say, let us assume that Asian Paints gaps down around this place, okay? What I can do, I have 11 lakhs of cash. I can go recreate this April's futures again the same quantity what i have for march all right once the gap down has happened it will try to come back to a point and then go down okay it when it comes back to this point i can exit this position this is called as rolling of futures from the current month expiry to the next month expiry so it gives me a price advantage to roll my 
open future position to the next month so i will have additional 30 days for the asian pains to go up okay so that is the option number 1 that is based on the chart if it goes down what i'm going to do i'm going to recreate the position what i traded intraday yesterday okay that is one let us assume that it is going to go up instead of going down okay so this looks like a double bottom to me there is a chance that the stock might go up right in that case my only worry is the number of days left over there is only 4 days for the expiry to be over tomorrow will be the first day friday monday is a holy holiday then we have tuesday wednesday thursday which will be the expiry before expiry it needs to go at least to my break even which is 2863 right so it needs to go up 40 rupees from here within 4 days or else i'll be losing on this position now what can i do all right there is one option that i can do so if you look at this 2862 minus 28 23 there is a 39 rupee deficit right 39 rupees i am at loss per lot i need to do something to collect this 39 rupees what i can do i can sell the options that is where this strategy is going to be helpful for you if you are trading in futures go to sensible okay trade strategy builder asian pains build a custom strategy on the upside i have the position at 2862 so i need to do something on the upside at around 2862 so what i'm going to do i'm going to sell the call option at 2860 sell this how many lots i have 10 lots i have okay sell on the downside i've been looking on this chart very closely since the last 10 days the chart never broke down 2800 the 2800 was always the support every time it hits the 2800 there is a immediate rebound every time it hits the 2800 there is a immediate rebound maybe algos are trading i don't know so the 2800 stayed a very very strong support after 2800 2820 became the strong support so the support is going to the next open interest level which which is the next strike apparently that is 2820 okay so every time it hits 2800 till last week it was rebounding now every time it hit 2820 yesterday it came up so i'm assuming 2820 will be my support what i'm going to do i'm going to sell the 2820 put add edit 2820 put sell 10 lots done so together it is going to give me a profit of 79000 of course both the prices stays at 14 and 25 when the market opens sometimes if the market gaps down this is going to be 32 and this is going to be 11 or 10 anyway so hypothetically at the current time of this video recording i am getting a profit of 79000 all right how much is my open loss my open loss is somewhere around 77000 so minus 77 plus 79 i'm done i'm okay i will not lose the money what is the payoff chart you need to see the payoff chart right let's let's look at the payoff chart so this is the payoff chart till asian prince crosses 2900 i'm not going to lose any money on this strangle right this is a strangle i sold a put i sold a call on the upside but what i need to do here i need to add my open futures position also so because the whole point of this strategy is to hedge my futures position so what i'm going to do add edit futures 6 days i already have 10 lots it is showing 10 lots by 10 lots clear done okay now this has added 10 lots of futures right now we have 10 lots of futures also this is going to be my profit and loss payoff chart okay so if market does not fall to 28 <clears throat> the break even is now 2802 rupees so literally i have reduced my break even from 2862 to 2802 that's how i'm going to adjust this position tomorrow what is the maximum profit i'm going to get in this position it is going to be 1.5 lakhs which is fair enough for matter of 4 days 
and the probability of this old strategy become profitable is 63%. I will be making some money if Asian Paints does not cross us below 2802 provided if I take this triangle tomorrow. Hope this video has helped you. If you like the video, please like, share with your friends. I'll meet you again. Thanks. Bye-bye.